The, the collective effort of the public services of Greater Manchester has been incredible, but particularly with regard to the investigation, huge progress has been made over the last 24 hours, and I'm confident that those responsible will be hunted down and held to account. One of the things on which you've commented in the past, in your previous role as Opposition uh, Shadow Home Secretary, is the PREVENT programme, and whether that is fit for purpose to prevent the kind of thing we saw on Monday. I don't back away from what I said. It's like with Northern Ireland in the, uh, in the 1970s and 80s, some of the policies can lead to a whole cloud of suspicion hanging over a whole community, or that's how that community can feel. And PREVENT has begun to be seen in that way by some in the Muslim uh, community. And I've argued that it is in need of a, a review. You cannot have policies targeted just at one community without creating a sense of, of division and alienation. M more broadly, I'd say we've really got to maybe learn the lessons of what's come through the people of Greater Manchester this week. It's all about solidarity and togetherness. The terrorists want to divide us. They want to uh, set one group of people against uh, another. You know, the message that's coming out of here is that we won't let that happen in this city. This individual who committed this unspeakable act of evil was a terrorist and an extremist. He does not represent the Muslim community of Greater Manchester in any way, shape or form. It is, of course, worrying, though, that it's not just one man. It is what police are calling a network, potentially living in this community, operating and feeling so much hate towards everybody else. And that's difficult. It's difficult for uh, people to hear that the individual who committed uh, this crime grew up in the city. His parents were welcomed here. That's difficult, obviously, for people to hear, but it doesn't change Manchester, in my view, in any way. People will still uh, be the same. They will still be as uh, openly generous and as welcoming as they've always been. Uh, and that's the way it will always, it will always be. You know, extremism has been on the rise uh, around the world in the last 20 years. At the national level, Theresa May obviously is the Prime Minister and she's also in the midst of a general election campaign. I wonder whether you, whether you think that this could allow what Salman Abedi did on Monday could, could have an effect on the outcome of our general election. I think it probably will change the character of the election campaign, but you know that for me is a is a secondary uh, concern. You know the issue for me is responding and responding in the right way to the enormity of what has happened here. Let's just remember what has happened: an unspeakable act of evil committed against children and young people in the heart of our city. It is absolutely right in those circumstances that party politics is pushed uh, aside. The way we're all getting information about mm. the police investigation here, which if you want it, it's better to go to the American newspapers than it is uh, to the UK because American sources are telling their newspapers more than our sources are telling us. They must be getting it from us. New York Times tonight has pictures of the detonator, the bomb, uh, and all, uh, much more detail than the British authorities have given. What is your view of what is going wrong there? It troubles me. Um, on Monday evening when the reports were first coming through to me, I agreed with the Chief Constable and others that we would take a cautious approach to putting public uh, uh, information out because we wouldn't want to get anything wrong or compromise uh, the police uh, investigation. And yet the first reports were coming it seemingly out of the United States, you know, so th that, that is concerning because obviously you want international um, uh, cooperation when it comes to sharing of information because events like this can have that uh, uh, broader dimension. Uh, but it worries me greatly and in fact I, I made known my concerns about it to the US ambassador. Um, uh, it's not acceptable to me that, you know, here there is a live investigation taking place. Uh, we cannot have information being put in the public domain that's not in the direct control of the British police and, and security services. I mean, is it what one obvious thing to do is just not to give it to them or give it to them a few days later or something, but they seem to be on a hotline to the authorities here. To have information put in the public domain before it was put there by people here is just wrong. You know, the, the British uh, police and security services need to be in the lead when this is a live investigation uh, here. Now, I, I, I don't think anything has compromised some of what they would have done, but still, the principle is an important one. We are in the lead here, and that was the point I made to the US ambassador yesterday.
Andy Burnham, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.